three on three. We'll start with Johnny Goodrow, who's been electrifying much of the day today, especially in the early part of the game. Nathan McKinnon and Morgan Riley against Daniel and Henrik Sedin. And Eric Carlson. And Johnny Goodrow has the puck. Darts towards the net. Takes the shot. Lundqvist the save. Carlson gets a hold of the puck. And he'll settle it down. The Sedins blew the zone, and they're already out of center. Carlson slowly and methodically. Henrik Sedin, rink wide to Daniel. Crisscrossing with Henrik and Carlson. A pass into the feet of Eric Carlson. Henrik, Daniel, Henrik, tipped it right on. Gibson made a nice save. Henrik, and Daniel, crisscross again, back to the front of the net. Daniel was held up. He tried to get his stick loose and cook. Back the other way, Goudreau. McKinnon busts for the net. Drop pass. Morgan Riley shoots. Beauty of a shot, and it ricocheted off the glass. I think McKinnon got in the way of that, Jim. He hit something. He was, I wasn't sure where he was. He was in front of the net with. trying to be a screen. I think it hit his stick and went up and over Lundqvist. He had a full head of steam when he leaned into the shot. Now here's Connor McDavid. Mark Shifley shoots. Another hard shot that went off the glass. Puck disappeared in the corner. Nobody could find it. Shifley did. Threw it in front of the table. What a save by Henrik Lundqvist. Right on the goal line. He played so deep. And the game was on McDavid's stick. There's your save of the game. Nick Baxter. To the front of the net. Berglund scored the tying goal. Now he plays the puck back. Nick Baxter, Patrick Bergman, Oliver Eckman, Larson are on the ice. Puck's thrown out to center off the boards. Racing after it, Lundqvist gambled and he won, coming out to meet McDavid and got to the puck first. Goss to spare. Shifley, McDavid left the puck behind. Now Shifley moves in, snaps a shot, and it's deflected out of play by Oliver Eckman, Larson. Well, take a breath, everybody. It's... Great excitement, three on three, as advertised. You would expect to see good chances with the players on the ice. McDavid, the drop pass, and it was a quick shot that Shifley with Lundquist trying to find it. You could see he pointed to the front of the net, and this is a bang, bang play that Henrik Lundquist, who plays so deep in his net, just put that pad down and slid across, and Connor McDavid couldn't get it up high enough to get it over. Eichel, Matthews, and Morgan Riley. Louis Erickson, Kruger, and Anton Strauman, the six skaters on the ice. 46 shots again for the North Americans today. That's what they had against the Russians in a game that they lost because they let six minutes get away from them. Here's a chance for Marcus Kruger. Skates himself into trouble and back out. Left the puck there, Louis Erickson. Dropped it off for Strauman. For the front of the net. Off the bench. Silverberg. Back to Strowman. Louis Erickson. Silverberg camps in front. Erickson chased a lap by Austin Matthews, who just about took the puck away. Now he gets some help. Eichel poked it out to center. Morgan Riley leading the way. Drop pass. Jack Eichel makes a move in front. That went off a skate and didn't get to Austin Matthews and back the other way comes Nick Backstrom. He's got Silverberg with him on the other side. The backhand pass and Riley got back to tip that. Morgan Riley without a stick and now back they come to center. Nathan McKinnon in on Eric Carlson. One on one. Can't get the shot. And the Ottawa captain takes the puck away. Stretch pass. Daniel Sedin waits at the blue line. Nicholas Backstrom. Daniel Sedin does another little button hook and left the puck on the boards. For Eric Carlson, changes underway. Henrik just comes off the bench Good to checking. Daniel. Henrik takes over again. Eric Carlson backs up to center. Daniel Sedin to Henrik. In on Gostas there. Daniel misfired. Had an open net. Looked like he had daylight to shoot at, and he couldn't handle the pass. McKinnon's back the other way. Takes the shot. Lundqvist made the save with his shoulder. Gostas Bear was up there with him. There's a breakaway pass to center. Daniel Sedin alone. Great save by Gibson. 
And back come the North Americans with a minute to go. Nathan McKinnon, Johnny Goodrow, great move, shoots! Lundqvist fought that off, and here they come again. At center, Henrik Sedin was all alone. McKinnon's all alone. He shoots, he scores! Well, wasn't that about the most entertaining five minutes of hockey you've seen? Nathan McKinnon, after Daniel Sedin was stoned by John Gibson, ends a terrific game, and the North Americans have hope of making the semifinal at the World Cup. Like a heavyweight prize fight where the combatants are going punch for punch. It's a big save at one end by Gibson. Back the other, so many chances at both sides, and look for a second there as Gaudreau missed. That all of a sudden the Swedes are going to be back the other way. Instead, Gaudreau makes the play, and how about that set of hands? Three quick movements from side to side, freezes Lundqvist, misses the poke check, and up and under the bar. What a set of hands by Nathan McKinnon, and the fans are watching it now in amazement in this building baiting him to try to get the poke check, curl and drag, backhand off the bar and in. Perfectly placed. Spectacular goal for Nathan McKinnon. There's the team management and assistant coaches excited that their team won and has a second win in the tournament. Had Johnny Goodrow not made that play, Henrik Sedin, if the Swedes win the battle, gets a breakaway right after Daniel had been stoned. Try and pick three stars from that game. <laughs> there were many of them. The three stars from Molson Canadian of a North American 4-3 win over Sweden. Nathan McKinnon with the overtime winner. Johnny Goodroll was special all night long, and he set up that winning goal. Eric Carlson, a four, set up a couple of goals.